In this video, I'm just going to take a look at something which a couple of people have asked me about recently, and that is how to create a presentation as a video, which can include obviously audio, uh, voiceovers, etc., in a really, really neat and simple way. And for this, I'm going to look at Keynote as the solution to the tool. If I jump into Keynote here, this is a, a presentation that I've done recently. And what I want to do is make this a presentation where I can share this out to the end users. Um, and yes, I could do a simple voiceover. I could do something similar to what I'm doing now, just a screen recording. But actually, sometimes it's nice to think about each individual slide and what, what content I want in each slide. And presenting this as in one go across, I think there's about 20 odd slides in this, can be quite challenging in terms of doing it all in one take. So this is an alternative way to do that. Now, on this introduction slide, um, I'm going to tap on the plus and I'm going to tap on record audio. Now, what this is going to allow me to do is record my introduction that would sit just on this slide. So here's an example. Welcome to this session. In today's session, we're going to be looking at how to explore new environments for learning and then whatever else you might want to add onto the slide. Now, it's important to also add in here. It doesn't just have to be one piece of audio. It could be numerous different pieces of audio uh, because you can have more than one audio button on the slide. So, for example, I may have forgotten to say, my name is Matt and we are going to be learning all about new approaches to learning or whatever it might be. And you'll see that I now have two audio notes to go on the page. Now, the reason why this is really, really uh, useful within Keynote is I can now have multiple recordings on a page and talk about different things. And I can also think about when those recordings happen on the page. In this example here, I've got my session outcomes and I want to record my voice over the top of this. So again, just as an example, plus record audio. In this session, we're going to be identifying different approaches to learning when we look at alternative learning spaces, as well as exploring approaches to delivery in different contexts. I'm going to tap stop and then insert. Now, the key thing here is I've got this as an animation and I, the, the session outcomes, etc., are going to drop in. Um, but I want my audio to happen at the same time. I don't want it to happen you know, before and then the, the thing drops in. Uh, research would show that actually combining the text and the visuals at the same time is a very useful tool. So this is how we can do this. If I tap on the three dots and go to animate, you'll see that at the top here I have this these three bars. And you'll see that I have everything that's been animated on this page. So the animation here, the animation of the, the text here, plus my audio recording. But what I don't want is the audio to happen after all of this. I want it to happen at the same time. So down the bottom here, I've got my audio selected, and I'm actually going to say I want that to start with build two. So now when I play this, the session outcomes are going to drop in. Then the audio, uh, sorry, the, the session outcomes here are going to drop in, and my audio explaining them is also going to drop in. Where that's equally useful to point out is here I've got two audio recordings on this page. If I go to the animate here and go to the three dots, you'll see that I've got those two. These will just play one after the other. You don't want them to play at the same time because they're going to com compete with each other. But what you can do is obviously choose which order you want them to come in. So if you've all, if you've spoken over three or four things per slide, just make sure you've got them in the right order here. And the reason that's important is because the final step is to share this as a movie to your audience. So to do that, once you've completed all of your audio recordings on your slides, thought about your animation order, tap on three dots, go to export and choose movie as the export uh, method. You can choose your resolution, frame rate, etc. And most importantly, make sure that you've got all the slides within your, um, your presentation all selected. And then you simply just tap on export and that's going to create that movie for you. Once it's done, it's stored in your uh, photos where you can then simply share this to wherever you need to from your, your device selecting it as a movie. So there we go. Nice and simple way to make audio recorded presentations within Keynote, adding in multiple audio recordings per slide and creating it as a movie to be shared with your end users in whichever way they want to access it.